months. Yeah, over the moon. Obviously, with the new extension of the contract, um, it's happy for me to obviously be be at this good club. Um, it's a great club, obviously. I said from the start that it's going in the right direction. Um, yeah, and I'm pleased to extend it. it. Does seem to have been that you've taken to the club and to playing here like a duck to water. Would that be fair? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm happy to to obviously be involved with the majority of the game going on. Um, like you said, yeah, I think I've adapted well. See, everything's going well at the moment, and long may it continue. Eighteen appearances so far. How much is that helped by the fact that you're versatile and you can play in a couple of yeah. different positions? It is. It's, it, it is good. Obviously, uh, with the formation we played, we've changed it around, and um, see, this season I've played right back, I played right centre back as well. So it's ideal. Um, and like you said, the versatility of me um, having to adapt to them is is quite comfortable. Um, and hopefully, you know. With the, with the appearances I've been making, um, hopefully I can get some more under the bar as well. And this contract extension, is it something that had to be negotiated or was it an automatic trigger based on appearances? Um, I think obviously we've been negotiating um, for a week or so, um, but <clears throat> signing my obviously the contract in the, in the summer is obviously a good extension, something that I wanted to um, build on. Um, but obviously that's off the pitch and I'm glad that it's, it's done as well. Yeah gets your future sorted for another year, keeps you in the area as well, where obviously you grew up, so the local lad in the team. Yeah, um, obviously my mum's happy about it, uh, being obviously it's so local and obviously uh, coming down to the game. Um, so it's ideal for me, um, obviously not too far from my house, which is ideal. And it's sort of like you said, the security obviously for another year at this club is uh, ideal for myself. So on that basis, everything going well. On the pitch, things going very well as well. Top of League Two. I mean, just how good could this could this season be? Could you be playing in League One next year, or is that sort of thinking way, way too far ahead? Well, that's the aim. I think that's what everyone's in it for. Um, you said at the start of the season, that's the that's always been the goal to get promotion. Um, and that's why I wanted to come here as well. Um, everyone set eyes for for high standards, and um, like you said, we're on track. We're in the right direction. Switch to the FA Cup this weekend. How special is the competition to you? Personally, I like the FA Cup. We obviously playing you know there's always upsets in the FA Cup you know lower teams beating you know uh, Premier League teams uh, and I think everyone in the game loves the FA Cup for that reason but um, you know obviously besides Saturday against Bellericke should be a good game they'll be physical and I think everyone's looking forward to the game. And I suppose the main emphasis is on everyone to have their minds in the right place so that you avoid the banana skin isn't it? Well that's it yeah hopefully you know if we come with our A game how we've been performing um, you know recently um, Hopefully, you know we see the game through, and this, you know, we don't get any replays, and we, we don't have to travel there on Tuesday night. Yeah, bit of a step into the unknown because obviously you'll probably know more about your opponents in League Two than you will about Billericay. Yeah, obviously we what we've looked on them, we've done obviously our clips on them. We know what their strengths and the, and then their weaknesses as well. Like every game, treat it, treat it the same, um, and obviously we we're going with obviously the same mindset to to win the game and get as far as possible. Home advantage, that's, that could be a big help as well, couldn't it? Yeah, massively. Obviously, with the home crowd and, and the pitch that we play on is ideal. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. Fingers crossed, thank you. Cheers, thank you. Don, when you look back to last <coughs> summer and you, you left Birmingham, did you see Forest Green on, on the radar as something where you could almost rebuild your career again? Um, it, it, it was an idea. Um, it's obviously to stay in the league is obviously important. Um, Obviously, having my experience at Oldershot um, in the conference has, you know, helped me build to this platform. Um, but it's obviously the, the the opportunity came in the summer to prove prove myself and actually be given opportunity um, was big on my behalf. And luckily, I took it with both hands. Yeah, and you only have to look at people like Reece Brown, who who was at Birmingham, dropped down to Forest Green, and then got to move into the championship so it is that type of club where you can either progress with the club or do well enough to get another move back up higher yeah yeah that's obviously like you said Reese Brown he's he's uh he's obviously in the championship now he's 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 walking it so um that is the uh if you like the, the template for you that says everything about it you know the season the season or two yeah and uh the performance that you put in and obviously he's got the reward for it. Yeah. The manager said some very nice things about you over the last few weeks. He said you, you just seem to have slipped in seamlessly. And more importantly as well, he said you're what he calls a low maintenance player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's good to hear, hear that, I guess. Uh, you know, with the obviously hearing positive words about the gaffer is always, is always good. But um, 
you know, obviously with the team performances, is, it helps you individually as well to strive off the confidence that we're, we're heading with uh, at the moment. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.